Okay, so in the previous video, I was showing you this example where we were interested in knowing student performance based on three variables. And we were failed to reject our null hypothesis that uh, enrollment has no impact on uh, student performance. So the results showed us that enrollment has no statistically significant impact on student performance, which means uh, everything else being equal, students at smaller schools perform as better as students at larger schools. So in this video, what I'm going to show is, I'm going to show you if we change the functional form of our model, it can have some impact on uh, the conclusions that we arrive at. For this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to transform all of my variables on the right hand side into log form. And now this model is uh, level log. And uh, based on this, I'm going to get all these uh, coefficient values and then I'm going to calculate uh, the t value and, and then I'm going to compare it with the critical value and see whether now we are rejecting or fail to reject our null hypothesis. So enrollment in this case, it has a coefficient value of minus 1.26 and we're going to divide it by the standard error, which is 0 0.69. And this will give you a T value of 0 0.183. So now this value lies somewhere here. Okay, so it seems like if we do this, minus 1.83 is greater than minus 1.64. So it seems like in this case, we reject H0. And by rejecting H0, we're going to conclude that enrollment has a negative and statistically significant effect on student performance as shown by math scores of those students. We can easily interpret this coefficient value based on level log model that we discussed in the previous chapter. Okay, so that's how you test the hypothesis by comparing our calculated t value with the critical t value. But you don't have to uh, do all this math. It is just for your understanding that what is going on and how these t values are calculated and compared with the critical t values. Once you get these results in R, R actually reports everything right here. So see here, t values are already reported alongside uh, these uh, coefficient values. So remember, we calculated t value as uh, this coefficient divided by the standard error and we get minus 1.83. So this is already given here. Now the major question is which of these two models should we use? So essentially one model is rejecting our null hypothesis and other is fail to reject this null hypothesis. This level level model it fails to reject our null hypothesis that enrollment has uh, no impact on student performance. On the other hand this uh, level log model, it is rejecting our null hypothesis that enrollment has uh, an impact on uh, student performance and we are concluding that it has a negative and statistically significant impact on student performance. So again, the major question here is which model should we use? So it seems like we can compare uh, the goodness of fit here and the R squared value with the level level model is 0 0.05 and uh, the R squared is uh, 0.06 for level log model. So it seems like this level log model, it is fitting data a little bit better. So what we can do here, we can go with the, this model, which is fitting our data a little bit better and use this model. And uh, we're going to go with the conclusions that we get from uh, this model. And we're going to conclude that enrollment has a negative and statistically significant impact on uh, student performance. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.